China has recognized that unmanned naval drones are the future of sea warfare and is preparing accordingly. Enter China's series of ambitious extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles XLUUV which have the potential to fundamentally upend the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific. If war comes, XLUUV are the logical tools to go after the US-led undersea surveillance grid that hems in the People's Liberation Army Navy and constrains its freedom of action beyond the first island chain. China's XLUUV are larger than traditional torpedoes and are capable of carrying payloads like weapons or sensors. China's program has accelerated since the early 2020s, positioning the nation as a leader in unmanned underwater warfare. China is investing in XLUUV at a scale unrivaled among other navies, and is now finally ready to reveal this to the world. The unveiling will be the first public appearance of these unmanned assets and will seek to signal China's rapid progress in underwater drone technology. China's naval expansion continues to surprise onlookers. Less visible, until now, have been developments in underwater drones. That is about to change with an upcoming military parade in Beijing in September. Two new extra-large drone submarines XLUUV will be showcased. China seeks a strategic advantage in underwater drone technology, in the underwater realm China is investing more. In particular it is developing extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles XLUUV more quickly than other navies. The world has largely been oblivious to this, but a major military parade in Beijing will change this. China's XLUUV have arrived. China will mark the 80th anniversary of the end of Second Sino-Japanese War with a grand military parade in Beijing on September 3rd. A similarly large parade marked the 70th university in 2015. The Chinese Ministry of Defense has already claimed that the parade will display improved weapons, equipment. Now images of rehearsals, shared on Chinese social media, have revealed that at least two types of extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles XLUUV will be among the new systems. The Chinese Ministry of National Defense has stated the parade will showcase improved weapons, equipment, underscoring an intent to lead in underwater warfare capabilities. With at least six XLUUV rehearsed for display, analysts anticipate a clearer read on China's operational priorities and technological maturity once the vehicles roll past Tiananmen. Naval News has been following the progress of China's ambitious XLUUV program since 2022, and several types have been reported first here. Yet these two new systems will be fresh and it will be the first time that they have been seen in public. It likely reflects the winners in China's extensive trials program. The new XLUUV are approximately 18 to 20 meters long and are generally torpedo-like, with pump jet propulsion. This makes them similar in overall size and shape to the Russian Poseidon nuclear-armed nuclear-powered torpedo. It is however too much of a leap to connect the two types at this stage. While there has been commentary on nuclear propulsion for torpedo-like weapons in Chinese media and academic circles, these XLUUV better match types already observed being tested in China. The country's Navy PLA Navy has the largest XLUUV program of any nation with at least five types in the water for several years. It is almost certain that the XLUUV seen being tested in China are not nuclear-powered. So while it remains to be seen whether either of these XLUUV is connected to the rumors of nuclear propulsion, it seems less likely at this point. Instead they reflect progress in operationalizing the wider XLUUV efforts. One of the underwater drones types has AJX-002 painted on the side in large white letters. It is typical of weapon systems to have their designation painted on the side, in Roman letters, for parades. Numerous missiles and other weapon systems have been revealed this way and analysts have learned to rely on these events. Therefore AJX-002 is likely that this is a reliable designation. Exactly what AJX denotes however is unclear. The tank transporter used to tow the new underwater vehicles allows us to estimate their size. The AJX-002 is around 18 to 20 meters 59 to 65 feet long and 1.5 meters in diameter. It has four lifting lugs along the hull which reveals that it is normally lowered into the water by crane. This is consistent with XLUUV observed undergoing trials at Sanya and Yulin naval bases in the South China Sea, and near Dalian in the Yellow Sea. Two lugs close together amidships also suggests that the vessel can be broken down into two parts for transport. 
At least six XLUUV have been seen in the parade rehearsal, four of the AJX002 model and two of another slightly larger design. This second design was under a tarpaulin so its designation text and other details were hidden. However we can tell that it is about the same length as the AJX002 but around twice the diameter. It has at least two sets of masts near the stern, and a similar pump jet. It differs significantly from the AJX002 in that it has X-form rudders instead of the conventional cruciform arrangement. China is investing in XLUUV at a scale unrivaled among other navies, and is now finally ready to reveal this to the world. Whether China can turn its growing undersea arsenal into a durable advantage depends more on surpassing US surveillance and exploiting gaps in allied ASW defenses, which are still thin across the Pacific. If war comes, XLUUV are the logical tools to go after the US-led undersea surveillance grid that hems in the People's Liberation Army Navy and constrains its freedom of action beyond the first island chain. China has recognized that unmanned naval drones are the future of sea warfare and is preparing accordingly. Meanwhile, various open-source intelligence analysts have suggested that there is a massive, secret submarine under construction at the Guangzhou shipyard. Some speculate that this mystery project may be the largest underwater vehicle ever constructed. That mystery submarine will allegedly boast X-shaped rudders for stealth, torpedo tubes, and possible towed sonar arrays. That would enable anti-ship attacks, mine laying, and even potentially deploying special operations forces to say little of its seabed warfare potential. And that last item seabed warfare is actually a primary aspect of these systems. Attacks on underwater infrastructure, such as the sensitive undersea fiber-optic cables that link the world's telecommunications together, are a constant threat. Having an unmanned system that can perform these missions would be integral for streamlining and enhancing the PLA Navy capabilities. It indicates a confident, rapidly advancing military with intentions of competing with, and perhaps replacing, the United States military is the most potent force in the world. What's more, it reflects China's proven, superior, form of mass production. China prefers developing new technologies along a prototyping approach, where multiple designs vie for PLA Navy adoption, accelerating innovation in Chinese underwater drones.